today we will discuss what common mistakes in English grammar. So let's have a look on the board. Read the first one that you can see. The first one, first one, uh, she would versus, uh, she would versus, ensure that ensure. Maintain the pronunciation of three words, very confusing one, you must pronounce them correctly. First one, assure, then ensure, then ensure. The first one, let's have a look. The first one, assure. Assure means that you can see the meaning to promise or say something with confidence. To promise or say something with confidence or confidently. That means assure. And for example, we can say that I can assure that he is good at cricketing. He is good at cricketing. That means he is good at cricket. So the example you can see, I can assure that he is good at cricketing. Dear learners, the next one, that is ensure. Ensure. We know about an insurance company. We know about an insurance company. So that ensure means to protect, to protect against against any risk, any risk by pain, by pain. So insurance means to protect against risk by pain, just like by an insurance company. Next one, that is the example for insure, for example, to insure your car, by the law it requires. We insure your car by the law it requires. Next one, the third one, ensure. Ensure means to make sure or to say or to grant. To make sure but or to grant. And the example here you can see, please ensure that all are present in the meeting. The example, please ensure that all are present in the meeting. Next one, that is number number two, that you can see on the board, number two, for versus at. And we know about them. The uses of for and at as a preposition in English language is very important one. And most of them, most of us know the uses of them. So, what is the difference between them? At versus for? You can see both of them are used for price. Both of them, both of them are used for press. For example, here you can see, and if you go through the examples, you can easily differentiate between them. What is the difference between for and at? The first one for, she bought a car for Taka 30 lakh. She bought, she bought a car for Taka, 30 lakh. But, second one at, I have written, I, I couldn't buy this car at such a price. I couldn't buy this car at such a price. If I had a lot of money, I could buy that car. I wish I could buy that car. So this is the difference. When amount of money, is fixed, then we, we have to use for. But when amount of money isn't mentioned, we have to use at. 
Next one that is number third. Here you can see beautiful one. Cope with versus cope up with. Cope with versus cope up with. And here you can see the meaning. Cope with means to manage something difficult successfully or very successfully. That is to deal something with very successfully. For example, here I have written, I am trying to cope up with my study lot. This is knocking at the door. So I am working hard for my exam. So I am trying to cope, cope with the study lot. Cope with my study lot. This is cope with. That means to cope, to manage something difficult successfully or very successfully or to deal something very difficult successful and for example here you can say I'm trying to cope with my study load. Next one that is the confusing one. Cope up with. Cope up with. It's completely wrong one because we use it instead of put up with. This is the mistake here. We shouldn't use cope up with instead of Cope with. So, so we should just use cope with, not cope up with. But many of us use cope up with instead of put up with or keep up with. So we should forget. We should let this. Learners, our next one that is number four here. You can see number four on the board. Live versus leg. Live versus left. Very confusing one, I think. But those who have a concrete idea about live and left, it doesn't matter much. So let's have a look on the board for the meaning of live. Live means to be on bed or something flat. To be on bed or something flat. And mind it, in the past tense for life is lay, and the past participle form of life is lay, and present participle form of life that is ing form is lying. For example, we can write, he always lies on the bed. He is very idle. He doesn't like, like to work hard. So he always lies on the bed. He always lies on the bed. Next one that is le, l -A -Y -L -A. le means to put or set something down. To put, to put or to set something down. This is the difference. The first one lie to set something or to put something on flat, something on flat, but Lay means to put or set something and down. This is the difference. And the present and past participle form of lie is late. Mind it, the difference between past tense and past participle between them and present participle form of lie is laying. L A Y I N G. Laying. And the example here you can see the hen lays an egg every day. We like eggs. So the hen lays an egg every day. This is the difference between lie and lay. Well, let us our next one that is the last one for today. Here you can see the last one does versus don'ts. Very beautiful terms to terms and we have they must have a good idea about do's and don'ts, but these two terms mean do's versus don'ts. And let's go for the meaning. Do's means something that one should do or say. On the other hand, don'ts means something that one shouldn't do or say. Something that one should do or say. That means do's. On the contrary, 
don't means something that one shouldn't or we shouldn't do or say. This is the different. So just know the meaning of these two terms, then you can easily differentiate between the two terms. Now let's go for the example. Here you can see the example if you want to progress, if you want to develop, if you want to prosper in life, here are some do's and don'ts. You want to progress, you want to develop in life, you want to prosper in life, you want to shine in life. So here are some do's and don'ts. So the example if you want to progress, here are some do's and don'ts. Next one. I have no knowledge of the political do's and don'ts because I am not a politician. I am not a politician, so I have no knowledge of the political do's and don'ts. Dear viewers, no more today. Stay with me. I will come back very soon with different topics. So no more today. Thank you.